What's up, my players? Y'all want the keys to unlocking the secret codes that let you know when a baddie is straight up thirsty for you to take her home and give her that work? In this game, acting oblivious to a chick's hints can cost you major points. Too many dudes out there striking out because they can't read between the lines when a female is practically begging for that D. But don't stress, guys. I'm going to explain the clear signs that show a girl is interested in getting intimate with you. Pay attention and you'll be a grandmaster at deciphering her true desires through body language alone. Sign number one. Randomly mentioning she's solo. The living situation small talk always comes up when you're getting to know someone. But be on the lookout for when a baddie brings up the fact that she's riding solo for seemingly no reason whatsoever. Like you'll be discussing your favorite sculpted hoops team or whatever, and out of nowhere she's like, yeah, I actually live alone, by the way. When a female is really feeling you, she'll make sure to slide in those low-key hints that she's unattached and available to have her cheeks busted open whenever, wherever. She wants you to pick up what she's putting down, that she's DTF if you make the first move. Women usually don't reveal such details unless they're open to intimacy, so it's a clear sign she's interested in getting physical with you. Sign number two, the invite to her crib. Now, her asking you to come through to her place doesn't always mean she wants to jump your bones right away. It could just be a sign she's vibing with you and trusts you enough to have you in her intimate private space. But it does mean the odds of sleeping together just went way, way up if she extends that invitation to come over. You can't just go for it based on the invite alone, though. You gotta stay frosty and peep the subtext of how she words it and the energy she gives off. Is it a casual, we should hang at my spot sometime, or is it a more intentional, you should come over, no reason, with a glint in her eye and a flirtatious tone to her voice? If it's the second case, she's practically flirting with you, practically inviting you to have an intimate encounter. Sign number three getting sexually suggestive. If the conversation starts taking a turn for the freakier side of things, and she's outright asking about your favorite sex positions, your wildest fantasies in the bedroom, or what kind of weapon you're packing down there, that's about as clear a sign as it gets that she wants to get up close and personal with your genitals, my dude. Like, she's literally inquiring about how you throw it down between the sheets, because she's envisioning what it'll be like when you two finally go at it. Don't be surprised or act all awkward when she starts firing off these borderline pornographic questions. It's because the horny girl is trying to suss out if you'll be able to properly lay that pipe and blow her guts out before she commits to riding that disco stick. If you want to gauge her interest level even more, answer it with a flirtatious joke back like, I could show you firsthand tonight if you want. Sign number four. Reading her body language. This is one of the classic giveaways that a chick wants you, and it's all about the energy and body movements she's putting out in your presence. When a woman is sexually interested and open to taking things further, she does small but unmistakable things with her physicality to subconsciously let you know she's down for whatever. She'll bite or lick her lips while making extended eye contact because she's imagining wrapping those things around your, you know. She'll play with her hair, giving you extra glimpses of her neck and cleavage, or she'll cross and uncross her legs slowly while you're talking, flashing you more and more thigh to get your mind wandering. Sensual, lingering touches on objects like glasses or utensils as she pictures them being your, well, you get the point. Her voice and intonation will even change, getting breathier and more sultry when speaking to you because she's in a flirtatious, suggestive headspace. Basically, her whole body is moving in a way to catch your eye and let you know she's craving to get more physical. Sign number five, getting hands on. Continuing on that body language point, when a woman wants you, she'll start initiating way more physical contact as a tease and to build sexual tension. A female who's interested will slowly invade your personal bubble, pressing up on you and trying her hardest to rub up on you any way she can. At first, it'll be more innocent, shoddy touches, feeling on your arms, playfully punching or squeezing your muscles, fixing your collar for you. But as the night goes on and she gets bolder, she'll start massaging your chest, grabbing at your biceps, putting her hands on your thighs, any kind of opportunity to make body-to-body -body contact. It's her way of creating that spark and letting you know she's open to escalating things whenever you're ready to take it there. The more handsy she gets, the more obvious her desires are. 
Sign number six, sharing personal details, being vulnerable. Now, the science says men tend to get emotionally invested after that physical intimacy happens. But women follow more of a nurturing emotional script. They have to develop feelings for a dude before they'll put it on him. So while sharing personal stuff alone isn't a surefire sign she wants the full sexual experience with you, it does indicate a level of comfort and vulnerability that means she's open to that possibility if everything falls into place. It shows she trusts you on a meaningful level and sees your relations progressing to that place, as long as you don't fumble the bag elsewhere. If she's spilling emotional details and giving all those flirtatious, suggestive physical cues I mentioned, you're in the red zone for sure. Sign number seven, approving and encouraging your advances. The biggest, most undeniable giveaway is when she's not only accepting, but actively reciprocating and leaning into any advances you try to make. Despite what they claim, every woman wants to feel sexy and desired deep down. It's an innate part of the feminine experience. So when you put the moves on her and she's enthusiastically matching your energy rather than shutting it down, she's basically giving you the green light to take it to wherever you want to go. She'll be way too encouraging of any physicality you initiate because she wants to feel seduced and have you take charge as the masculine lead. Obviously, don't be a creep and take any rejection to mean she's just playing coy. Read the situation appropriately. But if she's melting into your touch and seems hungry for you to keep escalating, you're headed straight for bone town. Sign number eight, excessive animated laughing. One of the most obvious giveaways that a chick is feeling you in that way is if she can't stop cracking up and cackling at every single thing you say, like you're goddamn Eddie Murphy on the mic or something. I'm talking, you make a basic, painfully mid-joke, and she's throwing her head back like you just hit her with the funniest bit she's ever heard. Like, there's no way anything you just said should be making a normal, sane person lose their breath from laughter that hard. It's over the top, excessive, and a bit performative, if you catch my drift. Because here's the truth, fellas. Unless you're an actual top-tier comedian or entertainment icon, no regular dude should be making a girl scream with uncontrollable, contagious laughter at every shoddy attempt at humor. If you really want to confirm her intentions, purposefully say something you know for a fact isn't even remotely funny or witty. And if she still loses her mind like you just killed a killer set at the comedy cellar, that's your green light that this girl is thirsty and trying her hardest to impress you in hopes you'll be taking her home to absolutely demolish some cheeks later. There you have it, my dudes. The definitive guide to reading between the lines when a fine female wants you to flagrantly violate her. If you see several of these signals, you're basically in scoring position already. Just don't let the ball drop or she'll curve you for the next opportunistic player who was paying closer attention. And for any kings who still struggled even after getting all this game, don't even trip, pimp. There are million, million baddie brackets out there ready to get wrecked whenever you correctly crack the code next time. Just stay focused, keep putting in that work, and these tricks will have you swimming in baddies getting your royal scepter anointed left and right. For the latest fire dating tips and moves to take your seduction game to Jedi level, smash that subscribe button and stay locked in with your boy. Until next time, y'all make sure to keep it playa, playa.